Tesla is going to build 100 megawatt battery storage facilities in the United Kingdom Megapack, Megapack hit. Tesla Megapack was chosen by UK's two companies Harmony Energy and Tag Energy to provide storage for two huge new facilities to be built in the United Kingdom, Chapel Farm and James Build Farm. Welcome back friends, this is Armin Haryan from exciting from TalkNews.com with exciting news about Tesla Energy. Global energy enterprise Tag Energy has grown its UK presence following the acquisition of 60% stake in two 50 megawatt battery storage projects in a joint venture with Harmony Energy as per their news release on November 16, 2021, just a few days ago. Tag Energy is a clean energy enterprise for a new cycle in the renewable energy industry. It was formed in 2019 to accelerate the energy transition by developing and investing in competitive and clean power stations in order to compete directly and actively on the energy markets. Funded by more than 10 years ago, Harmony Energy is now one of the UK's leading independent developers of utility scale battery energy storage projects. They also develop build, own, and operate wind and solar projects. Their wind business is backed by some of the world's largest infrastructure investors, including universities, super now, uh, superannuation scheme, it's called USS. Now look, uh, this is very important for Tesla because Tesla Energy is going to be one of the Tesla's main selling services. Instead of uh, making products, Tesla is also going to serve services. So Peter Kamanak, Chief Executive Officer of Harmony Energy said, we are pleased to announce this deal with Tag Energy which has been under negotiation since January. This is the last standalone better um, battery transaction outside of the Harmony Energy Income Trust. And we uh, very much look forward to working with another highly experienced partner on these two sides. The projects will increase the country's energy storage capabilities and add flexibility and stability to the UK grid to support the transition to a clean energy future. Both projects will use Tesla Megapack lithium-ion batteries together with the Tesla's AutoBeater AI software for real-time trading and control. According to their press release, the deal comprises construction of both projects will commence in quarter one 2022 with commissioning in quarter one 2023 the projects represent a combined investment of close to 60 uh, million uk pound that's about 80 million 80.5 million us dollars a tesla mega pack basically transforms the way to power the grid delivering giga scale capacity in their own words take everything we know about battery technology to enable the world's largest energy projects. So this is why this is important for Tesla, because remember yesterday I reported that uh, Jim Cramer uh, compared Tesla with Amazon, and some of you said that Amazon only sells products. Tesla cannot make every driver in the United States drive Tesla vehicles. Um, but I said also that Tesla now sell services like the uh, self-driving uh, the the, the self-driving uh, software auto beater software mega packs and so on so mega uh, the auto beater is another service that tesla sells that this is why these things are very important for tesla tesla will become a major energy um, exporter i think through its uh, giga uh, through its batteries because Everything that they know with the batteries, they can uh, make, uh, they can sell to grid companies and energy companies who will benefit. I just don't know why until now LG Energy and Cattle and others have not built these mega packs um, because they seem to have the capacity. So I will have a link to Torque News in the description of this video with the key points from technical point of view of this new Tesla Megapack project for those who are interested to look at the technical. So if you guys, guys would like to know the technicals of this project, go to talknews.com slash Tesla. It's the last story right now published, but I also will have the direct link in the description of this video. You know, the Tesla Megapack is basically designed for utilities and large scale commercial, uh, commercial customers. 
Um, as we have mentioned in many reports before at Torque News YouTube channel and at our torquenews.com uh, website, any energy company like Harmony Energy and Tag Energy in this case, and by the way, any state, province, municipality, or even whole countries could greatly benefit by having a clear and focused green and sustainable policy as they would save significant amount of money in the first place and could easily relocate those savings in the community driven projects as a plus that is not to mention the environmental social and ethical benefits of these kinds of projects says nico caballero from torque news tesla reporting team so let me know your thoughts friends this is armin harayan from torquenews.com welcome to our channel please subscribe to our channel give us thumbs up if you like this video let me see your comments what do you think about these things and uh, god bless you your families peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next tesla story there are some breaking changes that have been made to Made in China Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. It has changed the name, it has changed the price, it has changed the range and acceleration. Imagine this, it's got 15% increase in range with these new battery cells. We know that Giga Shanghai's Model 3 rear wheel drive, that's the new name, use the new LFP batteries. That is the lowest energy density cells on the market, but clearly Giga Shanghai has managed to find a way, Tesla has found a way to make a long range battery electric vehicles with these battery cells. This is super impressive, I think. Well done, Tesla. It is also reason for optimism that there will not be a nickel shortage crisis for the production of the highest energy density cells on the market. So what happens with them? Tesla China updated Giga Shanghai's Model 3 rear wheel drive variant and increased its price by about $2,350.21. The price is now around $40,000. To be more precise, it's $39,311 after tax reductions. According to Tesla China's online configurator, the new Made in China Model 3 rear wheel drive, previously called the Standard Range Plus, now qualifies for the new energy vehicle purchase tax reduction and fiscal subsidies in China. The Model 3 rear wheel drives tax exemptions could save buyers up to $6,267. The actual starting price of the new Model 3 rear wheel drive is about $41,793. The new CLTC range is 556 kilometers. That's 400. Uh, 68 kilometers NDAC. So let me explain what's the, the difference and change from CLTC to NEDC range that was used previously. The new Model 3 rear wheel drive has a range estimate following the China light duty vehicle test cycle. It's called CLTC standard instead of the previous new European driving cycle NEDC. Under the current CLTC standard estimates, the new Model 3 railroad drive has a range of 545 kilometers, that's 339 miles, compared to the previous 525 miles, 326 miles, any DC estimates. Therefore, deliveries of the new rear-wheel drive Model 3 are expected to start in the first quarter of 2022, hinting that the outgoing Model 3 variant standard range price is already sold out for the remainder of the year. The Model 3 performance still has an estimated delivery date listed in the fourth quarter of 2021. Based on the base Made in China Model 3 rear wheel drives delivery estimates, demand for Tesla's more affordable vehicles is still going strong. Giga Shanghai seems to be keeping up with reservations. The Made in China Tesla Model Y standard range rear wheel drive is also sold out for the rest of 2021. However, Giga Shanghai estimates that base Model Y deliveries could start again by the first quarter of 2022. So, friends, what do you think about all of these changes uh, of the Model 3? And I think 15% of range, uh, range increase is impressive. Let me know your thoughts, friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. I want to ask you a favor. I want to make these... Uh, uh, videos more interesting uh, maybe 
I'm losing you some plays. If you guys have any ideas how I can change the way I talk or the way I present the topic and make these videos more interesting, please let me know in the comments section below. I would greatly appreciate it. This is Armen Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Welcome again and please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. I hope to do another live this evening, maybe some Q&A and to discussing topics about electric vehicles. Uh, God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.